These might look like ordinary run-of-the-mill sunglasses, but they actually have a hidden feature. And it's something that I feel makes them borderline gimmicky compared to practical. But in doing my research, it kind of seems like the gimmick is actually working and I'll share that later on. But anyways, they actually have a Bluetooth speaker built into the arms. And since I had this pair, I wanted to kind of see if they were really worth buying or is it really just a gimmick? Hey y'all, I'm Miller Austin. Thanks for checking out my channel. So first off, I did not actually buy these sunglasses. They were sent to me through Billow so that I could do a social media commercial about them. They are the SKCT Smart Audio Glasses and you can pick them up on Amazon for roughly $80. And the main draw about these is that they actually have a Bluetooth speaker built into each arm and you're able to pair them to your phone and use them to answer phone calls, listen to music or podcasts. So real quick, here are some specs on these sunglasses. They have guide audio with touch control built into both temples. They offer hands-free calling with a voice assistant. They have UVA and UVB protection and are polarized. They have a battery that they claim lasts six hours and they are IPX4 waterproof. For touch controls, I feel like it can't get much more simple than this because whether you're a righty or a lefty, you'll be able to use most of these controls on both temples, so it's whatever your comfort is. First off, a double tap like on most earbuds will answer or hang up a phone call, start or pause your music or podcast. A long tap uh, is one of my favorite actually that will ignore an incoming call and I've been getting a lot of spam calls recently So I will be happily doing a long press while wearing these if I continue to wear them a triple tap will start the voice assistant and A triple tap with a long press at the end will actually reset the glasses now these last two touch controls They are temple specific, but it kind of makes sense if you think about it if you long press on the right while listening to music or a podcast, you can actually skip ahead or skip to the next track. If you long press on the left, it's kind of like when you're looking at a CD player or looking at your computer screen, you backtrack. So right will go forward, left will go back. So why would you actually want to buy these over regular earbuds, aside from the fact that they look pretty darn good? But the social media commercial that I did for this was really billed at drivers who want to be able to do things hands-free and not get a lot of the extra noise while driving, mostly for phone calls. They, uh, they sent me some information saying that if you like to have your Bluetooth capabilities through your phone and use your phone hands-free, which is becoming more and more of a requirement in more states, by the way, then these are the glasses for you because they say that they don't cancel out, but they minimize the amount of road noise that you hear from the rest of traffic. So when people are on the other side of your phone call, they're not sitting there going, can you speak up? I can't hear you over whatever's going on. They claim that these are much better at sound reduction, uh, outward sound reduction than they are for anything else. But one of the big things that it comes down to, I guess, is sound quality. How do these compare to these and frankly it's not really much of a contest because these are always going to sound better these and over the ear earphones are going to sound better because the sound is directly put into your ear canal to your eardrum and it's just it's better quality of audio whereas these with the way that the speaker is right in there it's channeling down into your ear and while the tones, I'm able to hear those very well, it's, it's not as easy or it's not as loud in quality as if something were actually over your ear or in your ear. So I will say that it's kind of muted when I've tried listening to some things. Um, I could probably do it right now. Uh, turn on a podcast I was listening to a little while ago. That might actually drive me crazy, so hopefully it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, the quality of sound is okay but it's not great. I would still, for quality of sound, I would still go with the earbuds or the AirPods or over the ear headphones. And so now for the interesting part, because I look at these and like I said, they kind of scream gimmick to me because you can really only use these 
in one instance, and that's if you're outside in a bright space, because I've done this multiple times and I realized that this probably looks dumb for me to keep putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off. But like right now, because they're polarized, I can't see my screen. I can see pretty well in here. They're not terrible. Um, it does cut down on the lights a little bit, but you're not gonna wear these while doing the dishes. You're not gonna wear these sitting on the couch, reading your Kindle. You're not gonna wear these in bed while you're reading or listening to something or watching YouTube videos while your partner or somebody is in the bed sleeping next to you. Um, these are meant to be worn outside in bright situations because on a cloudy day at night, like right now, they're, they're useless. So um, to me, they've got one very, very narrow win window where you can use them. But from what I can tell, it seems like the gimmick is actually kind of working and some of it might be attributed to name recognition and I have to have everything that this brand makes. But let me read you some stats that I found on Amazon. So the Echo Frames second gen, they have almost 5,500 reviews and it's a solid 4.2 stars. That's 5,500 people have bought those similar frames. Now, granted, those are $270 and these are 80. The in real air glasses, 819 people have reviewed at a 3.7 star rating, by the way. The Razer Anzu smart glasses have 3,000 reviews for a 4.2 star rating. And these are actually something that I think would make almost all these glasses stand apart. And they actually have removable lenses to where you can do blue light filtering glasses for while you're reading your laptop, working, doing things like that. But then you can put the uh, polarized filters on so that you can then go outside and have sunglasses. Then the OHO Sunshine Bluetooth sunglasses, they have 1700 reviews. Bose, here's that, uh, that, uh, that name recognition that I was talking about. Bose has 1,200 reviews for 4.5 stars and they look almost exactly identical shape and everything to these SKCTs. They're $125, by the way. Um, the cheapest one that I've seen so far, Razor and Zoos are $49. The Ohos are 32. In Real, we've already talked about that. So as you can see, thousands of people have actually already bought these audio sunglasses from different companies. So I guess you could say that the, the gimmicks actually working strangely enough. But what are your thoughts on this? Are these just purely a gimmick that almost 10,000 people have fallen for? Do you see maybe some actual use in them that you could maybe buy a pair of these and use them more like in conjunction with earbuds where earbuds are for inside and dark situations and these give you plenty of use when you're outside driving, that kind of thing. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And if you actually own a pair, which ones did you go with and what made you decide to buy these? I'd love to hear that down in the comments. As always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you in another video.